Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. China has several unmanned undersea vehicle or UUVs which have mapped the deep waters worldwide. UUVs are also used in subsea warfare. China's neighbor Indonesia has found three Chinese underwater drones. The latest one was discovered in late December 2021. The discovery of Chinese UUVs revealed how much China has progressed in developing devices and how it was preparing for a new front in warfare which is underwater. Now AUVs are also being developed worldwide to assist in mine detection and sea bottom mapping of harbors and other areas of interest. Other AUV application includes intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, clandestine monitoring, environmental monitoring and even anti-submarine warfare. Even US Navy has commenced the development of extra large unmanned undersea vehicle or XL UUV in September 2017. In February 2019, the US Navy awarded Boeing HII consortium a $43 million contract to begin work on building four XL UUVs. During Navy's Day's press conference held on 3rd December 2022, the Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, had confirmed that Indian Navy is on the hunt for unmanned underwater vehicles. It has already shared its requirements with the defense industry. The Navy will likely import the underwater drones until the indigenous solutions are operational. The former Vice Admiral Ashok Kumar had outlined four categories of UUVs. First one is Man Portable Autonomous Unmanned Vehicle or AUVs with swarm functionality having endurance of 10 to 20 hours. Second one is Lightweight AUVs compatible with existing lightweight torpedo tubes on board ships and having endurance of approximately 2 days. Third one is Heavyweight AUVs compatible with current heavyweight torpedo tubes and having endurance of 3 to 4 days. Fourth one is high endurance AUVs with capability to be submerged for at least 15 days. India at present is at nascent stage of UUVs development and has launched many programs to gain momentum in this area. In today's video, we are going to discuss all of this program in detail. First one is LNT AUVs. LNT is developing a number of autonomous underwater vehicles AUVs which are Amog, Adam and Maya. Adam can be launched from submarines and surface warship with 533mm torpedo tubes. The AUVs weighs around 850kg having diameter of 533mm and length of 5700mm. It is powered by lithium polymer batteries which provides its endurance of 8 hours at a speed of 4 knot. Adam navigates with real-time position accuracy. It has velocity logger and inertial navigation system and GPS update. It looks ahead using a forward-looking sonar and an underwater camera. It can descend up to 500 meters. In May 2022, LNT had signed a memorandum of understanding with New Space Research and Technology, a startup, to develop a new range of submarine-launched UAS. This was done in response to DRDO's TDF program for development of submarine-launched unmanned aerial system or SLUAS. The SLUAS is planned for induction to meet tactical requirement of submarines by aiding in intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance mission and augmenting maritime domain awareness. TIDO has laid the requirement for UAV to be deployable from a NATO standard torpedo tube to a depth of 50 meters and it must be directed from submarine via data link within line of sight. The UAV should have a recoverable system at the end of mission. The platform's major function would be day and night intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance mission, maritime domain awareness augmentation, real-time target tracking and beach reconnaissance prior to special operations. Its secondary function would include assistance in battle damage assessment. The drone's payload will be an electro-optical infrared camera placed in a canister. Now, MDL has also made significant development and is trying to build XL UUVs. On 8th March 2022, MDL had issued an expression of interest seeking response from global firms for collaboration in design, development and construction of extra-large unmanned underwater vehicles or XL UUVs. 
This was done in response to Indian Navy's RFI for the procurement of 12 Excel UUVs, which was to be responded by 2nd of May 2022. As per report from Naval News, Excel UUVs may have a length with payload of up to 50 meters, width of 5 meters, height no more than 10 meters, and gross weight without ballast under 300 tons. The Excel UUV is intended for following roles, which are ISR, anti-submarine. anti-surface warfare and mine warfare an external payload of up to 10 tons of armament is also under consideration with mod probing the feasibility of mounting two 533 mm torpedo tubes and mine laying capability for the excel uuvs the submerged maximum speed is specified as at least 8 knots with cruising speed of over 4 knots The propulsion option may include integrated thruster or propellers using electric motors. The Excel UUV is mandated to have a maximum endurance of over 45 days using either lithium polymer or lithium ion batteries or a fuel cell based AIP system as a power source. A diesel generator may be required to recharge any batteries. The sensors fitted on Excel UUV would include a flying array sonar, a tow array sonar, bow sonar, multi beam echo sounder sub bottom profiler collision avoidance sonar i band radar esm system and a periscope mast with eo ir cameras it will be capable of communicating with other platforms and control station using satcom and underwater communication systems the project was approved in principle on january 16 2023 with prototype development expected by 2025 This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.